Okay, it's Wykyer here again. Uh, I'm here to answer a question left by uh, uh, Leela Ake. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. I really have no idea. She said, hi, I'm, I'm new to Ableton. I missed the part where you dragged the audio file to the new MIDI track. How did you do it? Uh, this is in the DJ Snake Turned On For What video for the main vocal synth. I completely forgot to even address how to put it into the track. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but it's actually fairly simple. Forget about this track, this is just from a mic. Uh, but all you have to do is take this little, uh, whatever vocal sample you're using, uh, you won't be able to hear this because it's not routed properly, but you take and you create an audio track and a MIDI track. And so if you, you have your audio clip up here, so you click on your MIDI track and make sure you're like in this tab right here, the thing that says MIDI right in the bottom corner, make sure you're in this tab that says drop an instrument or sample here and you take this little audio clip click it and drag it down into here and once you drop it you'll have this uh, mini MIDI clip activated. Now I know this looks different than uh, when I created this video uh, uh, Layla but uh, that's because I got the new Ableton Live update uh, but your ears will probably look the same if you still have this Amy Open Live system, but it's just the same. So uh, if you want me to do that again, I'll do it. So just an audio track and a MIDI track. Take and click on the MIDI track and drag the audio file into the MIDI track where it says drop an instrument or sample here, and then you'll get that, uh, the rack. All right, well, uh, thanks for the question, and uh, I hope it works for you. Uh, just comment below this video or the last video if you have any problems still. Okay, thanks. Peace. Bye.